thejbeans.net. Our most recent sailing on the Carnival Sunshine was a back-to-back -back cruise, and we stayed in two different types of cabins, a balcony on the first leg and an ocean view stateroom on the second. Our Category 8C balcony was located on Deck 7 aft, near the back of the ship on the port side or left side. The balcony included a small refrigerator. The Pullman bed for our jelly bean was situated over the sofa. When the bed was in place with a ladder attached, the sofa was not very easy to access. The balcony itself was equipped with a small table and two chairs. Our jelly bean enjoyed being able to sit on the balcony and eat breakfast with a wonderful view of the sea. Since our room did not share a door with an adjoining room, we had a bit of extra storage and shelving available. The ocean view stateroom we had for the second leg of our back-to-back -back cruise was located all the way down on deck one. Like our balcony, the category 6A ocean view room was also located aft near the back of the ship on the port side or left side. The similar location of the rooms made it easy to compare the two. On the not so great side of things, the ocean view stateroom did not have a small refrigerator or balcony. The shared door with the adjoining room limited our storage and available shelving and the transformation of the sofa into the extra bed meant we had no sofa to use each night. Our ocean view cabin on deck one was also not as close to most of the scheduled activities which typically took place on the higher decks. However, on the better side of things, the overall ocean view room had much more space because there was no balcony to cut into the floor plan. We still had a nice view of the ocean, and we did not feel the swaying of the ship nearly as much as on Deck 7. We also enjoyed being closer to the gangway on Deck 0 on port days. All of the other features of both rooms were the same as other standard staterooms. The bathrooms both had showers with no tub. Shampoo, shower gel, hand soap, and bathroom towels were provided. Both staterooms included a safe, hair dryer, and television. Television programming included a complimentary movie channel and informational channels about the cruise line and the ship's itinerary. When close to the United States territories, we were able to pick up network programming, mostly international news channels, but those were lost when the ship was out of satellite range. As typical for most cruise ships, there was no clock in the room, However, one of the television channels showed the current date and time. <laughs>